The Bioprogressive web portal was designed to be used as a research platform of the Bioprogressive community. The portal has two main functions as shown in this diagram. Those are to accept case collections and to accept any publications. Any users that want to have full access to the portal must complete the registration process by clicking at register. Once registration form as shown here has been completed, user can gain full access to the website, depending on the membership packages that he or she chooses. User can also edit their profile. The profile management consists of functions to manage users' credentials, manage users' password, manage users' profile, and manage users' services. This shows where users manage their password. In this user profile, each user can decide which of the information they want to share with other members of the Bioprogressive community or to the public. In the Manage Services function, user can select membership packages to the Modern Progressive Foundation Web Portal Research Community. The Bioprogressive Research Web Portal also provides function for its members to communicate through messages and notifications function. The Message Center will be used to send and receive message to the forum or to the individual member registered in the Bioprogressive Web Portal. Upon finishing using the Web Portal, each user can log out from the web page and log in again from another time or log in as a different user. All events related to the foundation of Modern Bioprogressive can be found under Events. Registration to the events can also be handled through this page. Once the user completed the registration and began login, such as in this example user Robert Ricketts, user can begin submitting their case collections through the web portal. Under Case Submission, regular users will be able to use the first and last menu options. The second and third menu options are specifically for reviewer and editor of the web portal, which will not be part of this tutorial. When submitting a new case, users should select the Submit New. User can also browse any cases they have submitted by clicking on the List Case. User can also have the ability to browse any cases in review by clicking on List of Review. When submitting a new case, user will be prompted to open the PDF document of instructions on how to prepare the case for submission. Cases for submission should follow the standard, as written in the protocol on how to submit a case, which is good photograph, well-calibrated digital radiograph, lateral and or frontal, picture of dental cast or other radiograph, cephalometric rickets analysis, VTO and superimposition. Cases can be categorized as treated or untreated. Under the list case, user can then upload each image pertaining to the corresponding case as in time points. Six different points are available in the current version of the Bioprogressive web portal. Each time point can hold up to nine images. User can define each case's property to be used as searchable database. Case properties such as date of birth, gender, race, facial type, skeletal and dental assessment, and mechanics involved. At the end of each upload, system will prompt user to continue uploading more cases or submit the current case for review. If the user chooses to submit for review, click on Request for View or simply answer the prompted question with OK. A notification through email as well as in the website will show the case submitted is now being reviewed. Any update from the editor or reviewer will be posted directly to the user's email or the user's page when the user is logged into the website. Under Case Collection, users will be able to see different collections which already have been preloaded to the system, such as Ricketts Treated Group and Ricketts Untreated Group. Under Publish Case, user can have access to search the entire cases in the database. A registered user with certain membership levels will also be able to download the original file good to be used as research data. This is an example of a Ricketts Treated Group. Under Publish Case, users can have access to search the entire cases in the database. A summary of each case based on the search criteria can also be downloaded as Summary PDF. A registered user with certain membership level will also be able to download the original high-resolution file and images good to be used as research data. 
The following section under Buy a Progressive Portal is the Publications. Similar to the way the Case Submission section works, in the Publications section, user can submit a new publication. Under New Publication Submission, registered users can then enter their publication title, category, published year, as well as the PDF file. Any additional images, tables can be uploaded as addendums under the Upload Image 123 section. We recommend each file limit to 8 megabytes in size to avoid slow upload and download time. Similar to the way the case submission works, any publication being uploaded to the web portal must go through a reviewer process. By clicking the Request Review button, user will notify the editor and reviewers of the portal in which this newly submitted article will be reviewed for approval to be published. Any registered user with eligible membership package can also perform a search and download the original publication as a PDF.